Hey, what's up coach? My name is Ben Neighbors. Now, if you're watching this video, if this is the first video you've watched on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, next thing I want you to do, whenever you have time, go visit my website. It's buildmysportsbiz.com. And uh, I have a great resource for you. If you go to this page and you want to join our newsletter, it's free. Um, and I also have a program here. This is ideal for you if you are starting your business. I would say if you have anywhere between zero to 20 clients, if you click on this button here, um, you'll see a program that we have. And this is a, an incredible program for you if you're just starting, if you want to have the right foundation. Um, I go through everything that you need to know there. Now with that being said, let's dig into the video. Now, what I want to review here, because so many coaches reach out to me throughout the week and say, hey, Ben, you know, I'm posting on social media. Nothing's working. Um, I don't know how to grow my company. And what I want to do, because I have, you know, talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coaches over the last five, six years, uh, I want to make a very simplified resource here. So you know how to operate and you know what to stop doing, all right? But what I'll do here is I'm gonna show you what 95% of coaches slash business owners are doing and what the top 5% are doing. And there's a clear cut difference here. And another reason why I'm making this video is because I don't want you to have to you know, fall into the trap that so many coaches are falling into right now. Uh, and you know this is gonna hopefully save you time and it's going to help you generate more revenue in your business, all right? So first, let's review the 95%. So the first thing I see that a lot of these coaches do is they are social media champions. <laughs> and what that is, is they are on Facebook, they're on Instagram, uh, they're doing Instagram stories, they're talking about you know what movie they saw last night, and they make everything about them, right? So your social media should not be about you, it should be about the problems that you are solving and it should be highlighting your clients. So it's very easy to fall into this trap. So you don't need to be big on social media. And actually, if you do your research, you'll see I don't even, first off, I don't even post Instagram. Uh, second, I don't have an Instagram account for my soccer training business. Like there's nothing there, right? I have been able to train thousands of kids over the past uh, 10 to 12 years without doing that. All right, so don't have to be massive on social media. Don't need to be sending out random flyers. Uh, a lot of these coaches are envious of local competitors. Uh, and many of these coaches, what they do is they're waiting. They're waiting for prospects to call them. They are not aggressive in their marketing. They're waiting, all right? And the last two things, this is very common. Coaches are trying to set up cool websites or design a sick logo. That stuff doesn't generate sales. I know plenty of coaches who have sick websites that have awesome logos that are broke, right? Don't be one of them. Now, let me focus here, the last 90 seconds of the video on what the 5% of coaches do. Now, the first is hunting. If you are in the top 5%, that means every single day, you're talking to at least three people per day in your area. That could be uh, coaches, parents, clients, uh, doesn't matter you are constantly hunting and you are finding new leads, all right? Next one is you are laser focused in your marketing with email. So you have email campaigns that are going out every single week. You're getting that in front of your clients and your prospects. So they start sharing your messages with more people. Next is you have the old school sales mentality and you make your phone, you make your phone your best friend, all right? That means you start get, getting comfortable talking to people over the phone. Uh, next is you run referral programs at least once per month. Next is you start setting up booths at games to meet parents. Very easy way to meet parents. You should be at every school fair event. So every school has those uh, school fairs that they have for parents, and that's a great way to meet parents. Next one is you should be in direct contact with your local competitors and view them as allies instead of enemies. <laughs> all right now if you watch this and you're like all right this makes sense i have a simplified program here on this page all right so if you go to buildmysportsbiz.com click on starting you can go check out this program here that's it for today's video and i'll see you later